Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna teach you how to mask an image using Lightburn. Um, sometimes when you uh, load an image into Lightburn, uh, sorry, into Image R, and you have no background, for example, and you wanna engrave on acrylic, for example, and the background will turn black when you convert it into a dithered image on image R and you don't want that black to show up to engrave onto your acrylic so this is one of the ways that this um, uh, this masking tool on Lightburn will help in this um, you can use Illustrator for example to uh, take out the background or even Corel draw and then but if you load something on image R it will always have either a black or a white background even though you already took out the background from Illustrator so this is a very useful tool on Lightburn so first you load your image I'm gonna be using this image this is not for acrylic it's just a regular image I just want to show you the um, process of how to do this but it'll be the same for any image first what you have to do is you load your image into Lightburn and after that you're gonna have to take out the background right so you're gonna have to trace around whatever you want to keep so in this case I'm gonna trace around my sister and myself and also it has to be a closed loop so I have to trace around and close off the loop. That's the first step. So let's do that now. So use the pencil tool here on the left side on the draw line tool. And you first go to edit and settings and you turn off snapping. Snap to object, you turn that off. And snap to grid, you turn that off. Um, you have to turn, it's easy. You can keep it on, but it's easier when you turn it off because it doesn't automatically snap to anything and it's more freeform so you want to trace around your object or your your subject we'll do that now I'll do it quickly I won't do it too nicely uh, you can spend more time doing this but for this particular example, it'll be really quick. And it also helps to turn off the image to help you uh, trace. Uh, it's up to you, it's your preference. So let's do this. all around bear with me here alright one thing to note on light burn is when you're tracing around um, you have to make it one whole loop and if you make a mistake and you press Control Z, for example, to read to undo, you'd have to restart over from the beginning. That's what sucks about it. So um, I'm I'm gonna have to close the loop. So I will have to turn go to Edit and turn the snapping back on in order for this line to snap onto the beginning line. Okay, so that's good. Press escape and go back to the arrow, the select tool, and select 
the line that you just did and put it in a T1 or T2 layer. The T1 and T2 stands for tool 1 or tool 2 and there is no output for this layer so there's no power or anything and um, it's just for your reference. So basically what this is going to do when you mask it is it's going to create a window uh, looking into the image. So if I select the image and uh, select also the line so the image and the line select both of them and then right click and down here you see apply masks to image so you click that and it will mask the image for you so what um, before when I said window what I meant was this line here is pretty much the opening of the window and it'll close off the other um, sections so I'll show you what I mean here. As you can see, I can still move the image around inside. This basically creates a window. It actually does not delete the background. So Control Z that. But yeah, that's how you mask the image. And when you want to cut it out, for example, um, you turn on the image, you turn the image back on, <clears throat> and if you want this as a cut line, you can select your um, your lines here and just choose whatever um, layer you want it to be in. So, for example, the blue one is the cut line, the um, line layer. So. If you wanted to cut it, for example, I'll choose the blue one. But if you don't want it to cut, you can just use the T1 or T2 layer. And it'll just engrave this section here without the background. So, yeah. That's it. That is how you mask on Lightburn. If you have any questions, just um, follow me on... YouTube and Instagram and Facebook at Laser Illusions Tech and send me a DM or you can post it down below in the comment section. Um, I hope this helped you guys out in any way and cheers. Bye.